Now, TalkSport have live and exclusive commentary of West Ham against Spurs tonight in the Premier League. West Ham, of course, threw away a 3-1 lead against Newcastle on the weekend. Calvin Phillips has been criticised for his interaction with a fan following the game. So should he play tonight? Calvin's a human being and can do things which uh, we all do at different times. He's just reacted to the pressure. He knows he's not playing well. He knows he's getting a, a lot of stick from the fans. You know, we react sometimes. You're getting abuse and the regret actions after you've done them. And uh, we can't react like that. We, it's all part of the game. We do get a bit of abuse occasionally. We're going to stand with them, help them as much as we possibly can. West Ham, of course, live on TalkSport, live and exclusive tonight. West Ham take on Spurs. I think that'll be a thrilling game. We'll talk about that game a bit later on in more detail. But we're going to talk about whether or not it is acceptable for football fans to give it back. 03717 West Ham were leading 3-1. He comes off the bench. Not long left. What, 25 minutes, something like that. Mm. And they end up losing 4-3. You, I mean, you've seen the game. You've seen yeah. the highlights. Firstly, the mistakes that were involved. The one that was a penalty I thought was a bit harsh. And the, the unbelievable goal that won it from... Yeah. Um, was it Barnes? Barnes, yeah. Barnes, I thought it was great. But you quite rightly said it, it, in our meeting that you yeah. blame him for that one, I right? Feel, I feel like the penalty is harsh. That can happen to anybody. I've seen that happen to um, a few players this season. So I don't blame him for that. But in his mind, he'll be thinking, why oh, did it have to be me? So he's just not having a good time. It's, yeah. it's, it's going to be you to give away the penalty. But the winning goal for me, you have been brought on in a game by the manager... Antonio comes off as a striker, extra midfielder. You can't let him turn in there. Your job as a defensive midfielder, Alvarez has been playing most of the season in there. He's suspended. Your job, don't let him turn. I know it's a great turn, it's sharp, but that's what you've been brought for. It's an for, unbelievable for, goal, yeah, right? Yeah, you've been, you've, been, you've been brought in for a lot of money. Your, your job is to stop Harvey Barnes there turning and then and scoring a scream. And even as, as he turned, Barnes, his reaction wasn't like... I know it happened quickly, but his reaction was a little trot. And if you're David Moyes and looking back, you're like, come on, mate, I need more of it. You're not helping yourself here. As a defensive midfielder, we saw on the weekend, Declan Rice didn't allow anyone to do that mm -hmm. Manchester City. You're in there, that's your job. Stop the shot. Well, so what's that down to? Why, why is it why, lacklustre is probably yeah, the word to describe it. It's, but why, doesn't Gabby? Have, doesn't it look like he's got the energy? You know, it doesn't look like he's up to the pace of the game. He's not playing much football, mate. No. And the hard thing for him is that should he go and get some under-23 games under his belt behind closed doors during a week just to get up to speed? Because you don't become a bad player overnight. No. You don't play in the World Cup and the Euros for England and one of the main players overnight. So what I would love, though, is for David Moyes to start him tonight and for him to have a top performance and then everything's forgotten. But it's going to be tough because obviously he's got the fans against him because of a poor display and then he's got the fans against him because of him sticking the middle finger up at them. What, what's your view on that? If you haven't seen it, he gets, he's getting on the coach. Yeah. He hasn't got headphones on, which I think is a mistake. But irrelevant of that, and then the fans mm -hmm. are obviously screaming yeah. at him. Not nice things. No. And then he g gives it back. What, what's your view on a player that does that? Are they asking for trouble? Is yes. he every right to do it? No, no, I, I don't think he's got the right to swear at fans. I think that's silly. You know, I've, I've had many times where Villa fans have been on me, poor performances, and... Maybe you, you shout something back at worst of like maybe maybe shut up or be quiet, but you don't put your finger up because that's just going to put you under more pressure now. You know, like if he plays tonight and he has a a bad first few minutes, they're going to be on him straight mm. away. So I think really you should apologise for that because fans, you know, they've travelled all the way to Newcastle and you've come on. Are you saying fans have the right to do that? They have the right to. They're paying. For, they're paying, aren't they, for for um to watch games? They've got the right. To a certain level. You know, if they're saying, oh, you were rubbish today, you've got to take that as a player and just be like, you know what? I actually was, to be fair. You know, you just take it on the chin. You think, you know yeah. what? I'm going, to, I'm going to do better next game. But if he starts tonight and plays like the Karen Phillips we know play that leads, they'll soon forget it's that. all forgiven. Forgiven? First 15 it, minutes, he makes a tackle it, or pings a diag and he's on it. They'll be like, all right, then, all right, then, forgotten. Let's get on. Let, let's, but he's, let's put, he's put himself in this this position, right? Of course. Put up, like I said to you in the, in the meeting. I would have put some headphones on. Don't even look at the fans because you you know they're going to give you some. Just get yourself on the coach. Pull it right next game. No headphones on. Can't help himself. And he and he's he's made a mistake. It's weird. It's like catch twenty two because at the same at the same time I get why fans are frustrated. A player's mm -hmm. coming in, they need him to do the job. In their eyes, he's at fault for two goals. Yeah. Also, at the same time, if you get on his back, he's now going into tonight. Massive game. It's always big when West Ham play Spurs. Yes, big game. But if you're getting on his back, he's now going onto that field with more pressure than he would have had 
had he just walked onto that coach. Yeah, but fans don't think like that, do they? They're thinking, I pay my hard-earned money to come and watch uh, my football team. Yeah. Travelled all the way to Newcastle, long trip. Probably maybe stayed over, staying over after the game. Expensive trip and you've not performed. They're going to give you some. I don't think they just do it to Calvin Phillips. I think it's any player of who's course. not performing, they would. Have, have you ever given it back? In, not not giving it back. I remember one game we um we played. We we're going through a bad, um, a rough time under Paul Lambert. I remember the team was like, you know, we're going to stick together, stick together. I remember scoring in front of the Holt end and didn't celebrate the Holt end. Ran to the bench and we all celebrated as a team. That so was you ignored the fact. Usually you would celebrate in front yeah, of norm, them. Normally you would celebrate in front of the Holt end, but because the whole team was getting so much stick yeah. because like we weren't performing, our team wasn't great. It was a chance to just celebrate in front of the bench or celebrate with the manager, celebrate with the subs as a team spirit. Mm. Not like being selfish and thinking, I've scored, oh, it's about me, I'm going to go and run in front of the whole end and celebrate. It was like, nope, run to the bench, yeah. show that togetherness so as effe- a team. Effectively, you were sticking two fingers up at the fans, but, <laughs> but no, no, but what I mean is, you were saying, it's not getting to me what you're doing, this is about us. Yeah, no, And we it, stick it, together it, as a like team. As a team, we're going we're gonna to yeah. go into the game against them Swans, we're going to go in with a positive attitude and celebrate together, no matter okay. who scores. Right, right or wrong, what Phillips did to give it back to the fans or players. Let's not look at him specifically. Yeah. Right or wrong for players to give it back to fans. I if... think um, you can shout back at a, um, a fan something. Oh, give me a break or, or whatever. Yeah, but, but if he did that, we'd still be talking about it today. Yeah, but I think when you put your finger up, it's a bit like, come on, like, right better or wrong. than that. Um, right or wrong. Wrong, for me. wrong, says Gabby. What do you make of it, West Ham fans? Oh three seven one seven double two double three double four. David's a Spurs fan. Hi, David. Good afternoon, David. Hi. Hi Andy, hi Gabby, how are we doing? We're good man, how are you today? Yeah, good thanks, good thanks. Um, <clears throat> see for me personally as a, as a football fan, um, I think half right what Gabby's saying, as paying customers, we're absolutely entitled to to give a bit to the to the players. We pay, pay our money, but at the same time, I think it's totally unacceptable to be waiting over an hour and a half just to give dogs an abuse to one of your players. I, I just think that's unacceptable. I think do what you need to do during the game. I mean, once that full-time whistle's um, done and dusted, you leave it be. You don't wait for the man to, um, when he's going his way home to give him dog's abuse. And if, if you're talking about, oh, he should have his headphones on and things like that, the exact same thing happens when, you know, they are wearing headphones. Oh, they're not respecting the fans because they've just got mm-hmm. the headphones on and they go onto the bus. You know, so they can't win. For me, he's well in, well entitled to, to to bite a little bit back. And the fans can't moan about that because you can't just go up to a human being and just give them dogs that used to not expect anything back, really. Do it in the game and then when okay. the whistle's blowing, leave it be. Okay. Uh, good call. Thanks for that, Dave. Yeah, just quickly, enough. do you fancy it tonight or not? We're going to smash him, mate. <laughs> you take 1-0 though, right? 90-minute pen. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dave. Good call. Uh, let's speak to Pat. He's up next on Arsenal Van. Hi, Pat. Hello, Pat. Uh, hi, boys. How are we? We're great. Uh, Gabby and, uh, uh, and Andy. Uh, it's Gabby's show today, is it? But anyway. Um, Gabby's show uh, today. It's normally Benny's, isn't it? But, uh, but I want to speak about, uh, you remember, at Arsenal with Xhaka. I, yeah. I, I'm a season to get older, and uh, uh, I don't boo my players. I don't boo my club, I don't boo my manager, because I'm not sure, is that going to incentivise them to do any better? And I was really proud of Jacko the way he come back after what he did and won the fans back. Uh, I don't know how you think you're going to boo at a player, uh, Andy and Gabby, and, and just because I pay me money, is that going to make them any better? I think, you know, surely you'd want to encourage and maybe, I know that I may be in the minority there, but... Uh, uh, I just think giving dogs abuse, like the Spurs fans have said, don't normally agree with Spurs fans, and hopefully West Ham smash them well, the, tonight. The but, problem uh, is, Pat, is like a lot of fans don't think like you. You know, a lot of fans will think, no, nah, I'll pay my money. If I want to shout at you because you're being rubbish in the game, I can. You have to respect us. We pay your your wages. That's what you yeah, hear, don't you? Yeah. The a first, lot. the first, good call. Thanks for that, Pat. The guy we spoke to before, I can't remember him. Um, I think it was Jack. When he said that fans wait in 90 minutes to hurl abuse, that is a bit weird, isn't it? A bit strange. You get that, mate. You get you get fans who will wait till um, where the players, you know, come out of the um, dressing room. Dressing room. When you come out and you come to your car or the coach, they'll be waiting. Like, oh, like that's, you, you that's get wrong. Fan, yeah, I think that's it's like de- premeditated. Hundred percent wrong. 
But as a player, you have to just try and like ignore it. Just yeah. ignore it. Don't bite. Don't bite. Uh, Nick is up next to Chelsea fan. Hello, Nick. Hello, Nick. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. How are you? We're good. Why, why are you chuckling away, Nick? Oh, I just, I, it just beggars belief for me that that Calvin, Calvin Phillips has got every right to do what he did. Someone waits an hour and a half to give him abuse. <laughs> He's nice. a human being. He's going through a really difficult time. Mm. Um, as as um, I think, I was trying to think. You said it earlier that you know going back to Leeds would probably be his best move, but. You know, there's been some Chelsea fans, a small minority this season, booing at the end of games. I have never, I've supported Chelsea for well over 50 years. I've never at the end of the game, I've been disappointed. I've, I've shouted, I've screamed at players, I've shouted and screamed at referees. Look at what if the Chelsea fans have done to Sterling. When you missed them what, chances, how, that, that was... How, yeah, but how? What, what I'm saying, Gabby, is that, yeah, some, some, and I... I I, I partly blame Pochettino because with Sterling, the best thing that can happen with Sterling is that he's left out of a few games. He, mm. He's, he's going to fight. If you keep picking a player who's low on confidence, he's not doing him any favours. If he if he maybe put him on the bench for a few games and brought him on for the last 10 minutes, but he's putting him mm. under pressure. I'm not condoning what the fans are doing. Yeah. But Have you ever booed Nick? Like, I've never, I've never booed a Chelsea player. I've, I've shouted. I could, I could probably name half a dozen players that I shouted at to put a bit more effort in. <laughs> yeah. Because for me, if, if a player puts in a shift, yeah. you know, say, say it's Gabby, and, and you know, if I was a Villa fan and, and he gave everything on that pitch, missed a couple of chances, but I know that he gave everything to the shirt, and that's probably given it for the shirt. Mm. I can't criticise so, you for that. I can't criticise the player for trying. Did you ever give it to Rafa? <laughs> oh god that's there a you go <laughs> yeah there's the answer Nick hey, you're all the same you're all the same but thanks for listening thanks for your call Nick thanks mate thanks, man. Not Andy, like, I do hope that Moyes trusts him tonight and starts him Calvin Phillips he has to right yeah he has to because you can't have Walpros and Suchek in the middle with Paqueta no. and you've got Alvarez there. Saar You've got um, Basuma Madison. and Madison. They'll yeah. run rings around that midfield. So I hope he starts and has a good game and everyone starts saying, all right, then, yeah. Kevin Phillips, you know what? If you can have 10 more good games, maybe just go to Euros. Yeah. yeah. Talk Sport Drive. Super opinionated sporting debate. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.